theologically, I believe that if you were to press me on it, I would say I don't believe that Muslims and Christians worship the same God because the Allah in the Quran bears zero resemblance in my mind to the God of the Bible. But, you know, look, there is a First Amendment in this country. <laughs> And it says that there is a free exercise of religion and that people of all religions are equal citizens of this republic. Equal citizens. There's not a first class citizen that's of a particular faith and a second class citizen that's of another faith. That is abhorrent to our constitutional structure. And you know, I may be a fire breathing conservative Christian, but I tell you what, one of the things I signed up to defend as an officer in the United States Army Reserve was the notion that every last one of us is equal in the eyes of the law. And I'll defend with my life, if necessary, the principle that a Muslim uh, citizen of this country is an equal citizen of this country, which means they have the ability to vote and elect people of like mind to our legislature. And if we don't like it, vote against the people. Argue against them. If you think they have a bad idea, then you greet your ba their bad speech with your speech. Engage in the marketplace of ideas. What happened in the, uh, in the house uh, interrupting a, 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 um, a prayer was just disrespectful. You know, I, it, was, it was rude. <laughs> it was trying, it was treating another citizen of this country as second class is saying that they weren't even worthy of being given time to speak, to say their piece. And that's abhorrent, again, to our constitutional structure. If you disagree, write an op-ed about it. Pick it outside the Capitol building. You have that right, and I would defend your right to do that. But don't interrupt, don't shout down, don't violate his own right to speak, don't treat him as a second-class citizen. I can't see anything Christian about that. I can't say anything in the golden rule about that. So, you know, I'm not a wishy-washy Christian who thinks that, well, all paths to God are equal. I believe that there is, that no man comes to the Father but through Jesus Christ. But you know what, I also don't see much precedent in the Bible for treating fellow citizens of this country as second class based on their beliefs. And in fact, we should be their servants. The least of these <laughs> is going to be, well, he who's first shall be last. We should be serving people. We shouldn't be shouting them down.